Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a creative typographic animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. So without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's make this 1920 by 1080. I'll call this main as this is going to be our main comp. Let's make this maybe 10 seconds long and hit OK. Let's create one more composition, which is going to be our text placeholder where we can type in any text that we want. So let's call this text underscore O one. And for the height, I'm going to keep it around 200 pixels and for the width I'll go with 3840 that is the 4k dimension for the width and hit OK. Then I can simply select my text tool and you can of course type in anything that you want. I'm just going to type in the tagline stay raw and align it into the center using the align tab. If you don't see this align tab you can go into windows and there you will find it. Also for the font, I'm using the monumental extended. I'll mention the link into the description so you can go ahead and download it. And by the way, you can download the complete project file for absolutely free into the description. So let's hit control Y to create a new solid called this BG for background hit. Okay. Let's put this at the back. So now we have our first text. Let's duplicate this to create a second text. So hit control D, make sure to duplicate into the project panel, not in the um, timeline. So let's go into text two, and then I can type in a different text. So let's type in creative. There you go. Let's create a new composition. Now, now the text comp size is set to 3840 with the height of 200. So I'm going to do the reverse of that. So let's make this 200 by let's go with 3840. And now I'm going to duplicate this four times. So what I'm going to do is let's type in 200 into four that is 800. So I'm going to just do the math right here and type in pattern call this composition pattern actually. Hit OK. Now, if you're going to, you know, duplicate it five times, you can do that 200 into five. That is 1000 and so forth and so on. So there we have it. Let's drag and drop in our text one. Rotate this by 90 degrees. And now I can simply just place it or align it to the right. Let's duplicate this by hitting Control D on the keyboard. Let's move this right over here. Hit Control D again. Move this one right here, hit control D and move this one right here. Now I'm going to align the left one to the left side and the right one to the right side. Select all the four and just align them properly by distribute horizontally. So now they are properly lined up. And then what I can do is I can simply replace these two comp with the text two. So select the text two and select these two composition, hold alt and just drag and drop them. So it's going to replace it with the second text comp that we have. And then we can simply add a nice tint on this to just, you know, add some variation. So let's go into effects and presets and type in tint double click to apply that up and swap colors. So let's hit control C to copy that and paste it on this one as well. So hit control V and again, you can use any color that you want. I'm just going to go with the classic black and white because I think it looks super cool. So there we have it. Now what we can do is let's create a new composition, which is going to be 1920 by 1080 Call this animation. Hit OK. And then I can drag in the pattern comp right here. Let's rotate this by minus 90. If we want, we can just scale this down. So hit S and then scale this down a bit. Let's actually go with 50 person that should fit in properly. And then I'm going to go into the effects and preset and use the main effect that is the CC cylinder. And right off the bat, you can see we have started to get the effect that we are going for. So I'll go into light section. Let's increase the light height all the way up to hundred. 
and now basically i can add some rotation animation to get the desired look so to animate this i'm going to use a very simple expression so hold alt and click on the stopwatch of rotation y and let's type in time times 70 or let's go with actually 100 so it's going to add a nice rotating continuous rotating movement to the rotation property very simple and that is basically just the gist of complete design now i can go back into my main composition drag in the animation comp and basically create some duplicates and create a very interesting look so i can simply hit ctrl d to duplicate it maybe place this one right here hit ctrl d to duplicate it again place this one just like that one more and there we go turn on the title action safe and let's place them just like that and as you can see they look super cool now one more cool thing that you can do with this effect is if i just simply go right here and actually let's delete this layers for now i'll just play around with this too so i'll select the second one let's place it below and i'll move this a bit forward in time so let's go to one second and ten frame let's move this one right over here so now we have a little bit of variation as you can see maybe i need to tweak this a bit something like that should work you can see so i can do the same thing again so hit ctrl d to duplicate it bring this below and let's move them a bit forward in time place them at the bottom and then i can just place them just like that and there you get this really cool look also you can play around with this effect you can also add a turbulence displace and you know create a different and weird look you can also animate the evolution if you want so i can simply hold alt and again add the expression time times let's go with 100 and you can see we get a really cool effect so using this technique you can create some really cool and different variation if i as you saw in the preview so you can see it looks super cool so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this small and sweet tutorial and if you did then please do subscribe comment and like and make sure to follow me on instagram at dope.motions and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out